Hello everyone. Um, I just got done cutting a bunch of uprights for these drill pipe and sucker rod panels that I'm building for a customer. And I wanted to show you how I saddle uh, my pipe using a chop saw. I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube and they all seem to be pretty good and I figured I'd show you the way I do it. I'm sure there's plenty of other ways, but this is the way I like to do it. So I just got done. I did, I don't know, I did about 20 uprights. And I got this other stuff over here laid out, trying to get it thawed out. It's been buried in the snow this winter. So I'm trying to get it to melt off a bit. So this is the last one I did. Like I said, I use a chop saw. And I feel like if you, if you can get your measurements right and your angles, it seems to do a pretty good job. So I, I usually start off with a, a five foot stem of drill pipe, because that's the, that's the same length I use for the legs on these freestanding panels that I use. And what I do is I have a piece of angle iron like this. I just lay it down here on top of my drill pipe. And that way I know my two ends are lined up. So I put it down here on the pipe and I mark there with a chalk line or chalk piece of chalk where my mark is. Then I go down to the other end and do the same thing. Just mark on the other end. So then, like I said, that just makes me know that my pipe is lined up on both ends. And so my chalk saw is set at 35 degrees and I just go through and get my mark and I come through and I just make my cut like so and I roll it over and try to get it nice and level. Do the same thing other on the other side and just make a cut. Then I just flip over my pipe and go to the other end and do the same thing. Then once you get your two cuts done, it's your pipe's pretty much ready. You gotta do a little bit of a little bit of grinding on the on the tips here, right here, just to get it to fit nice and snug. But this piece here, so I've done my grinding on this piece already, and uh, this is a piece I use for my legs on those three standing panels. But as you can see, once you get your grinding done, it doesn't take much and it it fits on there real nice and nice and tight. So, but yeah, that's the way I do it. Um, I figure I'll show you the, the panels that I build using this drill pipe and sucker rod. I'm gonna show you around a bit while I walk out there. Um, here's my two dogs, the black, the border collie is uh, named Issa and the Australian Shepherd one there is named Piper. So we got an old John Deere backhoe that we use for feeding the cows in the winter. And, hauling and loading hay in the summer. And over here, we've got an old uh, Deutz Alice loader tractor. We got some more tractors and whatnot, but they're all in the shed right now for winter. We got a flatbed trailer here that will haul hay down to our cows when we feed. We got our chicken coop over there. We got about 12 chickens. Just walking over here, I'll show you these drill pipe panels that I'm building. So this customer, he doesn't want the, the feet on them. He's got a couple posts in between them and he just welts them right to the posts. So my panels there, they're, they're 24 feet long and about five feet tall without the feet. When I, when I put the feet on, they're just, they're just under six feet with the feet on. So these are the uprights that I'm cutting the, the saddles for. And what I do is I go through and I use a plasma cutter. I cut my holes out for the sucker rod to go through. And then I leave one end off before I get all my welding done. Then I get my one end on and just sand with everything in together. So, yeah, that's the way I like to do my my saddles on the pipe. Like I said, it seems to work pretty good. Uh, hope you got something out of that. I feel like I kind of stumble through things sometimes with explaining, but that's the way I do it. So, have a good day.